Welcome back. Let's talk commodities now. Manisha is joining in and she's going to be focusing in on metals. Manisha, why is that? Well, thank you for that, Rima. We are looking at strong gains continuing on to this one, so much so that we are headed for a weekly gain. The strong Chinese data in form of retail sales, industrial production, the numbers that came in today are better than the street expectation for the month of August. Add to that, the China has been making some stimulus measures in various sectors in the last couple of months. Now, the RRR cut of 25 basis points for a second straight time in this year has been supportive as well. Apart from that, ECB also, while they hiked interest rates yesterday, have signaled that their monetary uh, tightening is coming to an end. And then the investors are betting nearly 97% of a probability that the U.S. Fed, when they meet in the next week, will not hike interest rates, at least in this month. So everything really seems to be working fine as a recipe for support in case of metal prices there. You have iron ore prices, which are now trading at a five-month highs. And from the lows of August, iron ore prices have gained up by nearly 17 to 18%. On a week-on-week -week basis as well, iron ore prices are up by nearly 5%. Steel is up by, by a percentage point. We've seen a percentage point of gain in aluminum as well. Good gains coming in zinc and copper, where we are seeing more than 3% of a surge coming in. Markets do believe that there are buying opportunities now emerging in metals. Of course, all eyes now on the U.S. Fed meeting next week. All right, we're all going to track that. Manisha, thanks a lot for getting us all of those details and the move that we're seeing in metals. But with that, it is time for a short break. When we return, we're going to talk about a whole host of stocks which are moving around on the back of news flow and some brokerage notes as well. So stay tuned for that.